Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time seeing me. My name's Emma Dara, I'm 25 years old and I live in New York City, and today we're going to be sewing. Discovered my first error. I think people would like this. It's not on. That would help. My fiance got me a sewing machine last year, and I've been using it to upcycle items that I thrift, and I haven't had a sewing project in a bit, so I want to do one with you today. I just pulled out a handful of clothes from our donate pile to try to upcycle them before we donate them, or maybe so we don't have to donate them. I don't know exactly what I have in mind, so I need to try on all the pieces and then see what I can envision. The first piece I pulled is this J. Crew sweater vest. It's very simple, but cute, but I put it in the donate pile because I never found a way to wear it or style it in a way that I like. I also pulled this striped shirt. I believe it was Amanda's that she donated. So, see what I can do with that. I also have this just like plain white bodycon dress that I put in the donate pile. But I am getting married this year, so I do have a few like bridal events. So I'm gonna see what I can do to like repurpose it. Maybe like a bachelorette outfit or something. So we'll see. We have this gray button up. So we'll see what I can do with that. And my cargo-y pants. Probably won't do all of them in this video, but just seeing what creative juices flow. I've been sitting here for a while thinking about what I should make and I feel like I'm just overthinking things. I need to just need to just try. So I'm gonna take the button up and I'm going to make it a little skirt instead. I saw something like that recently and I thought it was cool so I'm gonna try that. I think people sell them as like things to wear under other shirts to like make it appear like you have a dress shirt on for like layering so as that can kind of be the inspo i don't think it should be too hard i'm going to start by like buttoning it up and probably cutting just below the armpit area this is the shirt on just very standard looking button up so i'm envisioning Maybe something lower waisted and have the buttons go up here. So let's do that. So I have the shirt folded on the table. I'm gonna just cut under the armpit, probably between these two buttons. Not the straightest cut in the world, but it could be worse. Definitely not. The straightest but then I think I will just fold this over to make like a channel so that I can feed elastic through the waistband. You gotta measure to make sure the side distances are the same because I can tell by looking at it they do not look equal. I'm threading my bobbin. Let me know if you want to see like how to do that. I have a lot of things that I want to sew for coming up, so let me know if you like these videos. Okay, this is like the only time you can go crazy in sewing. Okay, that's definitely enough. Take my old bobbin out and put in my new bobbin the dark thread. And now just going to thread my regular needle. My needles are threaded so I'm going to sew and I'm going to be doing a zigzag stitch. I need to start on one of the sides because I think the bobbin thread is going to show. This is the part of sewing that always still confuses me by the way. We're just gonna go for it and figure it out as we go. My 
Elastic is half an inch, so I'm just making sure the channel is big enough for that. And measuring out one inch. Definitely not my best sewing work. That's why I started on the sides to try to hide this atrocity. So I think I made the channel too small, but it's kind of too late to do anything now. I think it might work. I can always fold the elastic. So I'm planning to wear this low-waisted because it's not very big as you saw. So I'm going to measure where I want it to fall with the elastic. Safety pin going on one side of the elastic. This just helps feed the elastic through the waistband. And I'm going to cut a small hole, or I should use my, I'm gonna seam rip into the waistband so that I can put the elastic through. I've discovered my first error, and that's that my elastic is in fact one inch and not half an inch like I thought. So the one inch channel I created is turning out to be a little small, but we're gonna make it work. Just gotta get the first bit through. <laughs> The elastic is going in. Slowly but surely. I finished feeding the elastic through. This is what it's looking like. They, it's still a little bit looser. I think I'm just gonna tighten it. It's gonna take like two seconds. And then I'm going to steam it and try it on because it's really wrinkly and it's throwing off my vision. I also have a lot of excess fabric to cut out, so I'm gonna do that as well. Are you ready for the final reveal? Here she is. She's kind of giving like the boxer short trend, but she's a skirt and she is, she's a little short. I think it looks cute with a little top over it. It definitely, I feel like it looks a little bit better than just the bottom of a shirt. I think people would buy this at the store. This had a Zara tag on it. People would think it's cool, so. Hello, it's a few days later. I'm back to sew something else, and today I'm going to be tackling this white bodycon dress. What I'm envisioning is making a t-shirt, like a basic t-shirt, because I'm wearing one right now, but it's like really cropped, and I want one that's like fuller length so that I can wear it with low or mid-waisted clothes. And then I think because I'll have a lot of leftover fabric, I might make a mini skirt to try to go with it so that I can wear them as like a set. I'm gonna start by trying the dress on. I don't think I like this neckline. Also, we can address the elephant in the room. This is from Shein. I got it so many years ago in college and I'm trying to upcycle it. So it's lasted a long time. Remember not loving this neckline, so maybe try to make it more of like a normal scoop neck. I put it on over the crop top that I currently have on so you can see how like short my current undershirt is and then I can estimate where I want it to hit with the jeans. So I think I like where, let's see, like that height. So let me get my measuring. That's 19 inches. Remember that and I'm probably gonna cut to like 20. Okay, 20 inches is right here. Okay, now just cutting straight across. Now before I hem the bottom, I'm just going to try it on and see if it's what I was picturing. Okay, yeah, I think that's cute. The neck doesn't bother me as much as I remember. Let's just hem this a little bit and call it a day. I need to pin the hem. 
that I want to do. I don't want it to be a big hem. Like I was saying when I was doing the other one, this part of sewing is always the hardest for me. I'll explain my thinking because then maybe someone can help. When you're sewing hems, that's going to be like visible on the outside. And when you're sewing, there's the top thread and then there's the bobbin thread. The bobbin's on the bottom. Or ideally, the bobbin's supposed to be on like the inside and the top thread is on the outside because the top stitching looks nicer. It's like more controlled on the sewing machine. So I always get, but I always get confused because in order for the top stitch to be the one showing, you have to do it like not inside out. You have to like sew when it's right side out. But I always find it easier to pin when it's inside out. So that's how I always end up confused. And then my sewing, my stitches don't look great. But again, I don't really care. Like with the skirt that the lengths are the same on each side. So measurements look good. And now when I pin, I'm going to pin it like I'm taking it off on the outside because I'm going to be sewing. I pinned everything, but when I pinned it, I made it so they'd be removable from the outside. So I just am flipping it inside out so you can see what I mean. The pins are like removable. Start sewing. I need to switch out my bobbin thread and thread the needle. It's not on. That would help. Hot off the press. This is how she's looking. Honestly, not bad. A little bit bumpy, but let me try it on. Oh, this is cute. Do you like it? Yeah, it is cute. Okay, I'm gonna cut out the excess fabric because I kind of have a bit, and then we'll move on to the scarf. The top is done, and now I just put on the remainder of the fabric to see if I can make a skirt, and it's quite short. What's left is quite short. And as we learned from the last project, my elastic is an inch wide, so I have to make sure that I fold at least, like probably I should do an inch and a half down um, so that I can easily thread the elastic through. But I really wanna to try to make it work because I think it would be a cute little set that then I could potentially use for my bachelorette or wear them separately and wear the bottom as like a swimsuit cover up. That's the worst case if it ends up being too short. Pins are in. Can we do it? And I'm gonna try to keep it at one and a fourth, one and one fourth inch to again allow for the elastic to be threaded. Guys, it looks so much better than first skirt I did, it's crazy. Everything's pretty straight. I think the mistake that I made with the first skirt that I was doing was that the thread on the outside is the bobbin thread, but that's okay. Now, just like the first skirt, I'm going to get some elastic and measure it. Actually, I'm gonna try this on. I was questioning if I needed elastic, because this is what I'm thinking, but I definitely do. The back's like so loose. Guys, this is so much easier when the elastic actually fits in the channel. Last time, it took me like so long to do, I don't know, 45 minutes. I just noticed that when I was editing the video, it went from like light out to dark, <laughs> so. All right, this is the final product, the skirt and the shirt. Again, the skirt is quite short, but for this, I'm really glad that I decided to cut this because I feel like the top I'll wear a lot on its own, like for layering. And then the skirt's just like cute to have. Again, I have a bachelorette party in a few months. So this could be something I utilize for that. Now I'm going to style the pieces that I made for you with what I plan to do with them.
thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this and getting back into sewing. So let me know if you like these sewing videos. Also styling the new pieces was super fun. I feel like this was a really good upcycle project because everything that I made, I will definitely wear more than what its original piece was. Like I showed at the beginning of this video, I do have a few more items. I haven't gotten any creative ideas for them yet. So I don't know if I'll do those, but again, let me know if you liked today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.